Hi, George here. And today we're going to be replacing the sunglasses reflection in here with a new reflection, just like that here inside of Affinity Photo. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. And the first thing we'll need to do is to create shapes that match the shape of the lenses inside here. We'll be doing this on two separate layers and then duplicating the steps for each layer. Okay, we'll start over here and I'll grab the pen tool right there. There we go. You can see it. And then let's also zoom in a bit on this for a bit far out. That's pretty good. Now, when you're zoomed in, if you hold the space bar down, you can pull the image around like that so it's easy to navigate. Okay, back to the pen tool. I'll just start up here someplace. Let's just put in a dot, come down a little bit, and then pull. Notice as I pull, it creates a curve on that. So let's pull it straight along that line just a little bit, just notice that the curve is created. Same thing here. We'll come back in and we're going to adjust these curves in a second step. So get it close, but it doesn't need to be perfect by any means. Just a little bit. Now, if you have a corner like we have right here, just do a click, but don't pull at that point. And let's come down here a ways and then pull. And then down here a little ways and again, a little pull to make that a curve. Okay, let's hold the space bar down and let's get the bottom part of this done. Now, the straighter the curve is like right in here, the fewer dots you need, the tighter the curve, the more dots it may take. But you can actually do with just a few dots to get this nice curve in here, a few of these points. Now, right here, we have the reflection of the nose. So there's a corner in here. So just click for that corner. And then come up here on this curve, click and drag up here for another curve. It's kind of hard to see here. It's a bit messy in here, but it's right up in there. So I'll come in here someplace and we'll drag again like that and up into here. And there's another corner right there. It's a little corner. So I'll come off of that up into this area here, click and drag for a curve. It's a bit of a reflection here of this part of the frame. So there's a corner right there and then just a little curve here. Pull the space bar down to move everything. Now come down here and just a little pull like that for that curve and then work around and get the rest of these curves in here. There we go. And come now back to the beginning, just click on that beginning point and that closes the whole path off. Now we can come back in and adjust these curves, get them exactly where we want them. Go back over here to the pen tool and you want the node tool. There it is. You now the node tool, you can grab one of these points and move it around like that. You can reposition it. And you can also grab these control handles in here and then move those. If you come out, it makes a longer curve in as a shorter curve. And just move these things around until you get the curve that you want. Now notice how these are locked together. Sometimes that helps, sometimes it doesn't. It depends. You need to be working the nodes on both sides of these nodes. These are control handles on both sides of the nodes. So I'll pull this one out and there's that curve. That's nice. It's a little off right here. I think I can just move it up just a touch and get that one. That's good. Come right here. This looks good. Again, space bar. That all looks fine down to here. Now, right here, I want this side to have more of a curve right there. Let's pull that down just a little bit. There's that nice curve. Again, space bar. Now, this, I'm going to pull this in just a little bit. There we go. And let's pull this curve up just a touch. That's good. That's all nice down through here. I think I could pull this one in just a little bit. There we go. So, just tweaking these positions to get this exactly where you want it. Now, this is going into a corner right here. So I'll pull this side out that goes into the corner to bring in more of that curve. And we'll adjust these points up here. Let's pull this one in just a little bit. And that looks pretty good right there, actually. And this line looks fine. I think I can pull this in just a touch. There we go. Again, space bar to move the image. And let's pull these in a bit. And a little reposition on that node. And I think we're looking okay here. That's fine. We'll reposition this one just a little bit like that and pull that handle in. That's looking good. Looks good up around the top. Just a little final tweak right here. And there we go. That path is done. Let's go back to Control Zero to fit screen. And I want to fill this path. We only have just the path in here. There's nothing in here. There's a little thin stroke. You see the colors up here. But the stroke is at zero point. So 
There's really nothing here except just the path visible. And I want to fill this with a solid color. So go up here to the fill. And we'll change this down to black, which is right there. There's our black shape. Okay, that's good. Let's now right click inside the black shape. And we're going to rasterize this, which is going to convert this into just a shape like that. So it's now just a shape here on the background. And that's perfect. Let's now do the exact same steps over here on the right side lens. That's this lens right here. And while you're working, don't forget to save. Let's go up to File and choose Save or the Control S keyboard shortcut. I just did that. I have a mouse shortcut to do that. Okay, let's zoom in on this lens. There we go. That should be good enough. Again, spacebar to pull things down. And we'll switch back over here to the pen tool. And if I follow this over with my eye, it's right about here, looks like. I'm going to put a point right there. And we'll come in a little bit and pull, make it a curve. Do the same trick, just come in and put in your nodes and give them a little pull to convert those into curves. Little point right here for a corner. Let's come down here a little bit and keep on going down. This one's obviously easier because there's less image in here. Hold the spacebar down and move the picture. And I'll put a node right here. And I'll put one right down here. And I'll finish off right over here. And that should do it. And then spacebar, come back up to the top, click on the beginning point, and that finishes in that curve. Okay, let's now go back over to the node tool. And let's take a look at these and just kind of tweak these until we get just the curve that we want. I'm just flatten those out just a little bit. There we go. And I think that looks nice. I'm down over here. This one's a little bit off. Let me bring that around. Oh, actually, I'll pull it in. I think in is better, which makes that curve flatter. There we go. This one I'm going to pull up just a touch and over. And that curve looks good. Let's come down over here. Now real tight down here, so I'm going to zoom in on this. A bit easier to see. And there we go. Let's just see what we've got here. I have an extra point in here actually right there. I'll hit the delete key. I'll just lose that extra point. And I'll pull this over. And that's right there. That's good. And I'll pull this out just a little bit to get a curve coming in here. Nice gentle curve at that point right there. Okay, that curve is good. Corner is fine. Space bar again. And we'll walk around. Those all look okay. That looks good. We're a little bit outside here. I think it's going to be this one right here. I'll just pull this in so it's parallel to that rim. And then we'll pull these sides out. This one here and this control handle out here. To pull that curve out and smooth that out. That's fine. And then down here. I'll pull these curves in a little bit, and that now matches that section. Over here, doesn't matter. Again, spacebar to move that, and we're good. Okay, control zero to get back to fit screen. Go back up here to the fill, and let's put that black back in there. There we go. Here's our black. Right click on this and rasterize. That makes a shape out of that. That's all set. Now notice over here we have a curve and we have these two things that say pixel. These are your two lenses. We can hide that curve. We're no longer working with that. So we have our two pixels in here and this is the left side lens and there's the right side lens. I think I'll double click on this and give this a name. That's our left lens. And this one in here is the right lens. There we go. Okay, we have those named. Now we can bring in our next picture and I'll open that up. And I have mine right down here in my open recent list. Now, both of these images available. There are download links for both of these images in the description. So we'll bring this one up. Here we go. Now, notice this is a color image. I want to have this black and white. So we'll just do that black and white change first. Go up to the Adjustment tab right here. Come down to Black and White. And default should be good enough. Let's just see. That looks fine. Merge that in back to our layers. Okay, now I'm going to float this window. Grab the title bar there. Float the window. And just drag it in over here. Brings it into our picture. Let me minimize that. We'll come back to that in just a little bit. And here it is above the 
two lens layers. I'm going to pull this one down so it's inside of the left lens. Just pull it in, it will drop inside that shape. Let's open that layer up. Click on the image layer right here. And over here, right hand side, there's a little lock right here. Click on that to unlock that layer. And we can now come in and change the size of this layer. Go up here to the Move tool right here. Grab the control handles. And let's resize this. What I want is to have the picture here just a little bit larger than the lens area. So kind of like that. We'll pull it over here so it's positioned about right here. That's pretty good. So here's our basic reflection in the lens. We're going to make this look better in just a bit. But let's now repeat these same steps over here for the right lens. Okay, I'll bring back up the other image. That's right here. Again, drag that in. Drop it in. We cannot close that one down. Let's drag this into the right lens. Just pull it straight down. Drop it into the right side lens. Over here, unlock that. And it's unlocked. We can move this around. And I want to pull the sides in here, pull the corners in to bring the size down. And we're just above the size, just larger than the lens. And pull this one way over as far as you can. And that's right about there. That's about as far as we can take that one. I want to have these different different positions, different placements. So let's come down here to this one and I'll pull this one to the left just a little bit. So you have different positions on those, which is normal if you have lenses. They're both kind of angled a little bit differently. You're going to have different positioning on things. We have our photographs placed in here as our reflections. We now need to distort these images in here. And for that, we'll switch over here to the Liquify Persona. There we go. Now here's Liquify Brush. This will push forward. This one pushes to the left. You can see what happens there. Just give it a bit of a shove like that. And I'll pull the bottom down. So we're just making a little distortion effect in here. That's good. Okay, let's go back and apply. Let's now switch up to this background here. This is our Eiffel Tower again on the right side lens. Back to the Liquify Persona, and that's over here. And give this a Distortion is one. Well. I want to have these distortions different because, of course, lenses will be different. So if it's a bit off, that's perfectly fine. I'm a bit taller on this one. There we go. So it's a different distortion, obviously, different lens adjustment. There we go. Once that's done, choose Apply. And then we're back over to the Photo Persona. So the distortions are now in here. We now need to put in a gradient in here to darken the rim of the lens, make it look more like it's actual lens and not just a flat picture in here. And for that, we'll start off by making a new layer here above the top layer. So there's our new pixel layer. Go over here to the gradient tool and in type, set this at solid first. And just pull in a little gradient like that, just kind of get things set up. We can now check our colors. That's fine. Let's go up here now and change this gradient type to elliptical, and that should give you a circular gradient. We can now move the center point anywhere you want to, and we can make it larger or smaller by pulling on these control handles out here. Now we need to see how this fits onto the lens. So we'll change the opacity here down to about halfway, and now we can see through that. Let me go a little bit more. There we go. Now you want to have the dark part here coming outside, so this point needs to be just at that edge of the curve. And the highlight over here someplace is good. You can kind of see that right there. And I think right here looks pretty good. Let's now set the opacity back up to 100. And then take that layer and put onto the left lens right down here. And that clips it into the left lens. And it gives it a nice kind of curved glass look. Let's now blend this with the layer underneath, which is the Eiffel Tower layer. So go up here and you want multiply. And there we go. It just puts that kind of image in there and it looks like it's now part of an actual sunglass lens. Okay, those are the steps. We'll do the exact same thing here for the right side. So again, go to the top of your stack over here, top of your layers, make a new layer above that. We're still here on the gradient tool. Again, I normally set mine to solid first and just pull the gradient in so I can check everything that looks fine. Let's click on the gradient. This brings up the pop-up. Change the type to elliptical. There's our circle. It's going to be over here someplace. Let's bring the opacity down a bit so you can see that. Okay, I want this right over here. And make sure our opacity stays down. There we go. Right in here like this. Let's pull that out a little bit. I want to get that clear down to the bottom of that lens. 
right about like that, I think is pretty good. A little bit of darkness at the very bottom is all right. So that's good. Let's bring our opacity back up to 100%. Let's come back to this layer and pull this layer into the right lens. Right there, that places it in there. And then blend this in with the image just beneath. That's our blend modes right here and multiply. And there we go. If you want to play around with the contrast on this, you can. She's a little bit dull on her contrast in here. Let's come down to the background, and that's with the girl on it. And let's go to Adjustments, and click on Levels. Click on Darken. That's our direction we want to be going. And this now adjust the black level up just a little bit. I'm looking at the darks over here, left-hand side, right in here someplace. And we can adjust the gamma a bit to brighten your picture back up. So it's a bit of a balancing act here between the black levels get a nice black showing in there and then the gamma which is your mid-tones to keep things nice and bright and cheerful there we are i don't want to go any more on the white because that will quickly burn out right here on the nose so there we go there's our levels adjustment close that down and back to our layers again and you can see that adjustment right here right above that background layer and if you want to learn more about how to use affinity photo take a look at my complete training course there's a link for that right down there in the description Make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.